Yeah. Can I tell you a cool, funny story, though? Yes, so, of course. And I forgot about it all this time. So I go out to dinner. We're doing Get On Up. We go out to dinner, and we go get some pizza. And when you get pizza, they give you, like, a little number, like your pizza will be ready. Yeah. What number do you think Chad Bozeman got? Of all the numbers, 42. Oh, wow. Since he did the movie, he'll have that, it's happened to him everywhere. Like it'll be a table number 42 or be like car service, but like Germany, Japan, like that number just keeps coming at him while he was doing Get On Up. So well, he thought that was a good omen that you got Jackie Robinson on your shoulder going, Hey man, I'm with Well, you. he needs to go to Vegas and play those numbers. I was about to say, I'm like, how, how many times can you do 42 in a pick six? I was like, yeah. Exactly. Number, bro. Like, don't, whatever that, you know, that's almost like a 420, but don't go there. So that's all good. But yeah, so I'm very excited about the movie. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what goes on. I just booked Jurassic World, so that's a cool thing. I'm going to get on a red eye as we speak tonight at 1 and go down and shoot for a week. And uh, then I'll be back. That's exciting. You're you're on a roll this I year. Am on a roll. Yes. That's amazing. The gravy train is not slowing down anytime soon. Woo woo! Get on up. The train. Get on up. So a question about yeah. the James Brown movie. Yes. What do you want viewers to take away from this movie? Uh, you know, Tate did a really good job in terms of tailoring the script um, to uh, some of the darker sides. If you look at Ray, for example, I mean, there was some ups and downs of Ray. I think he kind of did the same thing in that regard of just like there's this other there's this other side to this man. And also there's that, you know, everybody's dream is possible. When he's in jail, going, they're gonna say my name, James Brown. You're, you're in prison. You know what I mean? Like you're the farthest away. So I think there's something. I hope the takeaway is that everybody's dream is valid. You know what I mean? Like, like Lupita said. Everybody's dream is valid because it seems like it's far away, but it's really not that far away at all. Yes. At least that's how I feel. I'm like, I mean, I set my wish list and things like that, but now, now I'm, I'm checking off lists. So like, I work with that guy, I work with that guy. Now I'm working with Oscar winners. I'm like, next thing you know, I'm a whole one. So, If you can dream it, you can achieve it. I totally agree with you. Absolutely. I mean, it's not just a, you, you got to put in the time, you got to put in the work. But there's, it's not, it's not as far as you think it is. So let's talk about. Dream big. Dream, yes, dream, I agree. Dream. dream and then take action. So let's talk about this movie. Yes. It's about a sex tape that wasn't yes. supposed to get out, that gets out to all the family and friends. The way you play it is, if you make it, they will come. I mean, oh yeah, you could, you, you could take that anyway. I know it's teen TV, but you gotta, you know, you gotta. I'm just saying, if you make it, you gotta know somebody's gonna see it. So. If you don't like it, don't make it. I agree. You want to, you know, you want to share your, you know, your abilities. You know, for some people, it did very well. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so, what's the most embarrassing thing you've seen your demo reel? Really nice work. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. tell us what's the most embarrassing thing you've done. Uh, I actually, when I first got here, a friend of mine was producing for uh, HBO's Real Sex, and it, he he needed a favor, so he wanted me to do a whole bunch of interviews. That thing played forever, and I had my mother-in-law meet me at Christmas time going, you know, I'm in a hotel, and I'm flipping channels, and this HBO Real Sex is coming on, and you're talking about how you like to have sex in the summertime. This is my mother-in-law telling me these things. Oh, wow. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that again. That's super embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> you got your 70-year-old mother-in-law going, oh, really? So the summertime is your favorite time because you're all <laughs> sweaty and salty with my daughter. All right. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. So that would be that would be right up there. Well, and of course, as as it played years on, my wife reminded me. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you, so glad you were helping a friend. You know. Hilarious. Thank yeah. you so much for the time. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.